Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to perform index match with multiple criteria. Here's my three criteria. Customer must be Bob, product must be Mug, region must be West, and I want to return the sales amount. Now to explain this, it's gonna seem like I'm going off on this huge tangent, but please stick with it. This is quite a good way of explaining what is going on. So I'm gonna run these three criteria on the relevant columns within my data. So I'm gonna say, are these values in the customer column equal to Bob? And you can see I get a series of trues and falses. Now I'm gonna do the same for the product criteria. So is the product equal to mug? And then finally for the region, is the region equal to West? So you can see here, I end up with three trues in second position, which corresponds to this record here, which is the one I want to return the sales amount of. Now, the next thing I need to explain is that in Excel, trues are equal to one and forces are equal to zero. I could demonstrate that just by performing some maths on these tests. So if I add zero, to the test, you can see where I had false, I now have zero, and where I had true, I now have a one. So let's do that for each of these tests. Now, if I then, in the next column, just do a simple multiplication of these results, and then copy this down. You'll see that where all the criteria are met, I end up with a one in this column. Right, now that leads us into understanding how we're gonna use the match function. What we're gonna do is look up one in this array of results here. And I want to perform an exact match and it returns position two. I'll just take that format off of it. So position two is the position of the row or the sales amount that I want to return. Now, obviously, I don't want to really have to rely on this column over here to get these answers. In fact, I don't want any of this. This was just to demonstrate the principle behind what we're doing. Now, I still want to look for one, but what I'm gonna do is perform those tests within the match function. So I'm gonna say, is the customer equal to Bob? But what I have to do is put that in its own brackets and then multiply that by the next test. So is the product equal to mug? Put that in its own brackets and then multiply again. So is the region equal to West? So here I'm doing exactly the same thing as I was doing earlier on with those four columns. I'm multiplying these tests by each other and where all three tests are met is gonna result in one. And I'm looking up the position of that one with the match function. Now I do need to deal with the match type argument so that's zero for exact match. So if I press enter, you can see it returns that two. So now I can use index to specify which values I want to return based on this position. So in my array argument, I select the sales amount column, comma, and then I need to close the bracket at the end of the index function and then press enter and you can see it returns that $20 amount. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.